In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a very simple vignette effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, so the clips we're going to use for this tutorial are this skating one and this guitar one right here. But we're not going to put vignette right on the clips. We're going to put it on an adjustment layer instead. So to do that, we have to go over to our project panel and click on this new item thing right here. If you don't see it, it's probably because it's like hidden behind like this. So just click on this dark line and slide it over till you see this. Click on it and then select adjustment layer. When this panel comes up, click OK, and that'll pop an adjustment layer right into your files. Then just click on it and drag it over top of the footage that you want to be affected by the vignette. So in this case, I want it to affect both these two clips. So I'm gonna stretch this out so it covers both of them. Now, all we have to do is click on the adjustment layer and go over to Lumetri Color over here. Now, if you don't see it, just go up to Window and then down to Lumetri Color right here, and that'll open up all these same menu options. But if we go down here and slide this along, you can see that nothing's actually happened so far because we have to click on Vignette right here and then adjust these sliders. So Amount all the way to the right is gonna be a white vignette, and then Amount all the way to the left is going to be a black vignette. So I'm gonna leave it there. Midpoint determines how kind of much is exposed within the vignette. So you'd see it crunches down if I go to the left and midpoint all the way up. You're not even gonna see anything because it is expanded kind of beyond the frame. So for me, I'm gonna crunch it down quite a bit right now just so we can see these other settings. And I'm gonna jump down to feather first. So if you crunch feather all the way down, you can see there's pretty much no feather. So it's kind of a sharp line. And if I go all the way to the right, it really blends a lot more. Like the transition is a lot more gradual from you know, regular exposed footage to where the vignette is. So I'm gonna cram this down a little bit again so we can see on roundness that if we go all the way to the right, it makes it pretty much a perfect circle. And as we go left, it changes the shape to like an egg and then this kind of pill looking shape. And then it starts expanding all the way out to be a rectangle that has these curved corners. And while this is kind of a cool effect, especially if we bump up the feather a little bit to make your footage seem like it's kind of like an old film look, the typical kind of vignette settings are more like this. So if you bump up the feather a bit, you know, increase the roundness and then expand the midpoint. This leaves just kind of the corners to be kind of darkened around the outside, which leaves the middle to be more of like the regular footage. So if I turn it off, that's what it was before. And that's what it is after the vignette. And that's it. That's how you apply a very simple vignette in Premiere Pro. If you got something out of this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you next time.